Hello, how are you today? Well, first off, I would like to thank for the thought that you were able to post up a video uh, comment to tell me basically something that I didn't even mention in my video. Um, I don't even remember mentioning God or anything or the devil or the Bible or anything in the video for you to say that you want me to go to hell or that God wants me in hell. Sure, God wants me in hell. God wants everybody in hell. He wants somebody who speaks in bad language. He wants somebody who condo uh, who doesn't condone slavery. He wants some, some stupid crap, all right? Look, let me explain something to you. When you're doing a video, because um, I've done like about 571 videos now, and uh, so I have a little more experience in this than you do, um, make sure that you have researched all the Bible verses, everything, if you're going to attack somebody with this, okay? I woke up this morning to find out that God wants you in hell. What the hell ever? It doesn't even bother me anymore anyway. First off, you don't know me as a person. You don't know me face to face. You don't know what I do on a daily basis. You don't know any of this stuff. Sure, my YouTube videos show me talking every day about what I do in my life. I'm trying to help people. And what you're doing is you're condemning people without even knowing who they are. Look, I'm not a religious person and I respect your beliefs. I completely respect your beliefs. You have every right to say that God is going to send me to hell. But my belief is that God is an almighty being, all powerful. And yes, should we fear his wrath? No, because he. Should we fear his wrath? You know what? No, I take that back. Yes, we should fear God's wrath. Because he can create these storms and he can create, he created the universe. He created the most, the wonders of the world. He created beauty. He created human beings. Now, um, homos like he, well, so when people got born, there's people that have, I have a brother who had, who was born with a skin disease and died. Okay. Somebody already told me that he was going to burn in hell, that he wasn't going to go to heaven because of something that he didn't get baptized in holy water or something like that. You know, so pretty much my whole family, everybody that I know and we're all connected are all going to burn in hell. Isn't there like uh, one of the Ten Commandments that you guys should follow called love thy neighbor? And I don't think condemning him to hell doesn't really help the freaking problem. So I suggest you research before you properly, I suggest you properly research before you attack somebody. Because um, looking and scanning through your videos and typing in Bible verses and whatnot, I suggest you know exactly what you're talking about before, so people can take you a little more seriously. I do respect your opinion and I respect that I respect your belief. I respect that you do believe in a God, but I don't believe you should fear him. I believe you should love and embrace life because he gave you the gift of life. I believe that you should live your own life and not have to worry about everybody else's. You were given a free will for a reason. Whatever that reason is, I don't know. So a book says that there's a prophet up that can speak to God and he wrote the book and wrote the rules and whatnot. But I'm sorry, I just cannot believe in a book that somebody wrote and said that God told them to write this book or that God told these people to write the books. I don't know the history of the Bible. I don't know. Now, if a book just popped out of nowhere from a lightning strike and, you know, it had all these rules and people decided to change the rules and it gets lost in translation in many languages, then I would understand the situation clearly. But look, I respect your like I said, I will always respect everybody's decision in life. If you're a Buddhist, if you're a Christian, if you're a Scientologist, I don't care what you are. As you're a person, I will love you no matter what. You can condemn me to hell. You can call me a fag. You can call me every single name in the book or in the Bible or in whatever. You can call me anything that you want. And I'm going to say this, it does not affect me. I don't, It only affects me when it does. You can throw your little holy water, I won't burn. You can say your Bible verses and it doesn't sting. Because if God really wanted me in hell, he would have struck, he would have struck all of us gaze down there. So 
I'm sorry. I am really sorry that you see me this way, that you see a person that you don't even know, people that you don't even know getting sent to hell. There have been people that have done charities, marathons, have helped people every single day that have been gay, that have that had um, you know skin diseases and things like that. You guys were doing this since the beginning of time. You did it for black people, you did it for Hispanic people. You know, it just, it's ridiculous. And eventually, and I'm gonna tell you this right now, gays are going to be accepted. Because slowly we are realizing, and I don't understand why you can't get it through your head after we have scientific evidence, that being gay isn't a choice. I was born like this. Sure. We are, when we're born and we're kids, we're being forced to go to church by our parents. We go to church, we listen to these Bible verses, they tell us that gays are going to go to hell, whatever, whatever, whatever. We become afraid because we're little kids. And we feel as though that we are sinning, whatever. Meanwhile, as time progresses on, we grow up. And we finally decide, I'm going to live life for me. What is the purpose of Putting on earth, given free will, to be tested on what? For what? To show what? If I was destined to go to hell, if I was destined to go to hell, then let me go to hell. Let me live my life because this is how I'm choosing to live. I'm choosing to live my own life and not worry about anybody else's life. I'll worry about people's lives if it affects me in a way that I need to save them in a way, like save their life. If they're about to jump off of a bridge, if they're about to slit their wrists, if they're about to shoot themselves in the head or take that bottle of pills. I need to save those lives. Just like you need to save your lives, it's better to keep people here and to help them go through and live their own lives. Because people like you and people like everybody else want to try to kill everybody. Telling them that they shouldn't live, telling them that they can't get married, telling them that they can't do anything because your Bible says that it only happens to be between a man and a woman. A Bible that has been lost in translation for many, many, many years and... From what I heard, the old Bible had a whole bunch of verses saying uh, slaves and stuff, say, saying uh, treat your slave with respect, uh, beat your wife if she mistreats you, stone people to death, things like that. Why aren't you following these rules? Because in my opinion, if you read today's book compared to that one, those in the new book is a sin. So what are you guys going to do? You guys going to rewrite the book again and then homosexuality is going to be, you know, like, it's never going to exist. You know, I just wish people would wake up. Because I do believe that there is a God out there. But I don't believe that he's all angry all the time. If he's supposed to be so loving, so forgiving, everything, why would he automatically just damn people to hell? Why would he create human beings in the first place to create this so-called stress in his head? Seriously, think about it. Because I don't think... That you reading stuff from the internet and clicking on Bible verses, apparently you don't know your Bible too well that you didn't memorize it. And you're just naming random quotes that I couldn't understand. I heard hell so many times in your video, it drove me insane. I was so tempted to click off, but I decided to watch the whole thing. And all I saw was just pauses, was nothing. But anyways, I just wanted to get my point across out there. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you continue moving on with your life. I hope that you have a wonderful life. And I kind of wish that you would stop picking on me and my people. Because this just isn't right. Because you shouldn't condemn a type of people. Because it's just not right. It's not right. Because I don't, I'm not attacking you. I'm respecting your opinion. I'm just throwing my opinion out there. Whether you agree or whether anybody, anybody who's a Christian or Catholic or whatever agrees, I'm just saying my point. And you can hate on this video, you can dislike this video, you can do all this stuff like that. But I'm just going to live my life 
and I'll let you live yours. But if you feel as destroying my life or trying to destroy my life or condemning me to hell or saying that I'm a fag is going to help your life, no, it's not. You're just wasting your time and you shouldn't even bother. So anyways, I just wasted 10 minutes of my time plus another 12 minutes of my time. So I will end it here. So you guys... To all my viewers that are watching this, I love you guys so much. And to the people who hate on this, I love you all so much. See, I don't hate. I love thy neighbor. Peace out.